What's happening YouTube? Cowboy here and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about my favorite character in Dota 2, my man Doom. So I know I usually bring you guys some Borderlands 2 builds, but I've been playing a lot of Dota and after trying out all the characters and putting way more time than I should into this game, I've found Doom to just be an awesome character. I absolutely love him. He's a ton of fun. And I'm going to go over my build for Doom and what I do. And hopefully after watching this, you guys will do them, and you guys will have a great time with Doom like I do. So, um, first off, I should say that this is this game is available, or this guide is available in game. So, if you you know click the little book right here, you'll be able to find my guide. It's just called Walking Nightmare, and then it's like how to face roll or smash children, something along those lines. But uh, this is a build that you can use either effectively in the jungle. Or otherwise, I would suggest going the middle lane. It's not necessarily that you can't go side lane with Doom, but I find that Doom is one of those characters where it's very easy to snowball. And if you're going to get that initial farm to start snowballing, you want to be somewhere where you can constantly do it. And in a side lane, I mean, if you if you got a, a pro friend that's supporting you, that's you know getting out the knives and harassing the other team enough to where you're never missing a last hit then side lanes can work, but otherwise, like I said, stick to the jungle or stick to the mid lane. So uh, first off, I'm going to go into items, then I'm going to talk a little bit about build, and actually I'll be going about, I'll talk about the items as we level up, but um, just to give you guys an idea, since we're going to be in the jungle, um, obviously we end up going for a stout shield, just because that damage mitigation is going to help with all these creeps beating on us. And then a Sage's Mask, because we're going to be upgrading that into a Ring of Basilisk as fast as possible. Now the reason for this is obviously the mana regen is going to be greatly helpful to us, in addition to the armor, because Doom has shit for armor. If you need, grab a Healing Salve, just because it'll toss you back up until you get Scorched Earth higher. Um, following that, the next thing you want to do is get straight to a Midas. Once you get the Gloves of Haste, have the Courier send them over for, so you're killing shit faster. But you want your might as, as fast as possible. And on an average game, I'll get it right around 8-9 minutes if I end up managing to snag a first blood. Um, the other day I was working bit lane and got first blood. I ended up doing it in like 5.5. But you want this might as fast. Because the faster you get the might as, the better. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get your, your GPM up a lot higher. As you can see, we're, we're slowly starting to climb the, the GPM ladder as Devour gets leveled up. And... The idea behind this is when we're at max level, well not max, but when Devour's maxed, we're getting 100 bonus gold basically every 40 seconds off of that, assuming you're actually using it. And then with Midas, Middle you're getting 190 busy. gold every 100 seconds. And it ends up letting you snowball into pretty much any item you could possibly want. So a lot of people take this stuff and work their way up towards Radiance. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Radiance on Doom. I just feel like the... Um, the extra damage that we're getting out of Radiance isn't really necessary considering the way this build's going to work. So I'll get into that a little bit more later, but um, before we get into the mid items and final, let's talk a little bit about the skills. So with Doom, our priority is going to be Devour with this build. And that's because, like I said, we want to get this max as fast as possible so we can combo that along with Midas to get insane amounts of gold rolling in. As you can see, we're at the six minute mark. We're already tied with Troll, which is, I mean, Troll's a crazy farmer to begin with, so we're coming along pretty good, especially considering we're just chilling in the jungle. Um, along with Devourer, you want to be simultaneously leveling up Scorched Earth, because this is what's going to allow you to stay in the jungle. And like I said, with the Ring of Basilisk, you should have enough mana to constantly alternate between Devourer and Scorched Earth, as long as you're not using any, you know, ridiculous creep abilities like Ensnare. I mean, I don't, I don't have a hundred... I mean, if my team is going to 100% get a kill, I'll blow 150 mana on it. Otherwise, forget about it. Because unless you're playing with friends, your team is probably a bunch of randoms that don't speak English and they're horrible anyway. So, um, that being said, um, obviously, once you get level 6, you want to get points into Doom. And, in my opinion, Doom is, is it's the best single-target crowd control ability in the game. I mean, you lock somebody out from using items and abilities for a full 15 seconds and it's all about how you use this like if i were to use this on something you know like troll warlord probably wouldn't matter that much because he's just going to run up and start smashing me anyway or something like you know uh or dro but if i were to use that on something like say zeus where all of his damage comes from just spamming his abilities 
or something like Tinker, where it's all about the abilities, they're going to be in for a really bad time late game when I do that. Middle is missing. So, um, and along with that, I should also say that if you're playing Doom, use your ultimate at the beginning of team fights. I always see people that they, they try and cast it on somebody to kill them as they're running away. Like, congratulations, you managed to, to snag a kill. But, like, if you're in a team fight, if you are to use that on, say, someone like Zeus at the beginning of the fight, you probably could have saved half your team from just getting blown up. So, use it at the beginning of fights. Huge, huge ability, especially when used on heavy casting people. Um, with that being said, let's talk about level question death real quick, because I know a lot of people don't even like this ability. And the thing about level question death is it's very situational. And by that I mean if you're going to use it, you really want to use it while keeping an eye on the level multiplier. And the reason for that is obviously in a level multiplier, you do the bonus damage that's 20% of the health. So um, the easiest way to do that is every time, I mean, when I get a chance, let me skip past this. I ended up having... Um, some stuff just went down at my house. Had to pause the game for a moment. So, these gentlemen were nice enough to let me do that. But, anyway. Um, after you get, you know, Devour and Scorched Earth and Doom leveled up. Well, not Doom all the way, but after you get your point in there and you get these two maxed, that's when I'm going to start looking at level question death. And the big thing to consider is just hit your tilde key and look at the enemy levels. Um, obviously, with one level, it's going to hit people who are level... It, they're going to be level 6... Or they got to be level 12. So unless you take an early point, 6 isn't going to happen. Um, I usually find that early on in the game, I'll get that up to level 2. And then I can start putting some points into stats. Because you're leveling faster than a lot of people with Doom. Just from you know how fast you're killing stuff and the Midas. And as you can see, I'll be 9 in just a second. So you're still at 6. You know, Trian's probably equal. Tinker's probably equal. Either way, in about 10 minutes, I end up being way higher than all of them. But as you can see, like right here, this is an example of using Doom properly. As soon as the fight started, I ended up hitting him. Just ran down, chasing him, used the Scorched Earth, used Phase Boots whenever I could, and he just he didn't have a chance in hell to escape. So here's where we run the hell away. And then, of course, I think Zeus is actually going to pop us off here. Oh, there it is. That damn Zeus always get. But um, like I said, it, it, you're going to want to use it at the appropriate time if you're going to use it. And the biggest reason for that is you don't really have a gigantic mana pool on Doom. So, is missing. I mean, 150 for our ulti, that's obviously only at level 1. Level 2, it's 250. But we're dropping 100 mana every time we use that. It's a pretty big chunk. And especially if we're only going to hit somebody at this point in the game for 125 damage, that's going to tickle most people. So use it appropriately. Otherwise, put the points into stats and they'll help you out more. So um, now that we're at that midpoint in the game, we're going to transition back over, talk about items briefly. Um, obviously, as soon as you're done your Midas, get up towards Phase Boots. I mean, you have terrible attack speed with Doom. So you might as well get a bigger damage per hit. And on top of that, because you already have Scorched Earth for the chase, when you combine that with Phase Boots, you end up moving around, I want to say, um, like 445 or something. You end, up, you end up hauling ass when you pop your boots and you have Scorched Earth up. It'll save your life. It'll let you chase down that person to get the kill without getting exploded by a tower. They're good to have. Following that, we're going to go Sange, just because it's nice stats to have for Doom. If the main chance happens to proc, it's going to be awesome, and you're usually going to secure a kill with that. And later, we're going to be upgrading that into Heaven's Halberd, which, in my opinion, is just one of those like core items you're going to want on any real you know, strength, tank, carry type guy. So, um, from there... The big thing we're going to be wanting to work on is Assault Curious. And the reason for this is Doom has two big problems. He has his attack speed and he has shitty armor. So just to give you an idea, this is at this is normal game speed. And I don't think, though actually I might go all the way back here, I don't know. But well, maybe not. I guess we're going to go beat on stuff in the jungle. I don't know what we're doing. Yeah, we're going to beat on stuff in the jungle. Oh, no, we're just going to devour it looks like. Okay, so here we go. Nope, nope, not going to hit that either. Come on, let's get to a part where we're hitting stuff. Just so you can see the, the terrible attack speed on Doom prior to getting leveled up. Why am I at the damn fountain every time I look at the game? All right, where we go? We're going to grab haste. We're going to get up to where we're hitting something. Okay, so here we go. And as you can see, our attack speed is... If we actually get up and manage to hit something, it ends up being pretty slow. Like... 
in the time it took us to hit that tanker like three times, I think Viper ended up hitting it like four or five. And on top of that, as you can see, we only have one natural armor right now. All the armor we got is coming from our plate mail and our ring of basilisk. So uh, point being, you get an assault curious, you got the attack speed coming in from hyperstone, you got the armor, and uh, I mean, if you want to look up values on like Dota 2 wikis and you'll see how much mitigation. I mean, just at the 14 armor, we got 47% you know, physical resistance, 25% magical resistance. That's huge. And just to, just to see real quick, let me get to before I had the armor. Okay, this is before the plate mail. Before getting the plate mail, I'm at 21% physical damage. After getting the plate mail, 47% physical damage. So right there you can see that you know getting getting that armor is gonna make a big difference in your survivability, especially in team fights against shit that's gonna end up trying to click on you. So um in short, Salt Curious, awesome way to go. And we're gonna ramp to a little bit later in the game once I have it and start just destroying faces with it. Twenty-six minutes. Let's jump a little bit more. Okay, here we go. So we can see, like, skipped ahead two minutes and I have the Assault Curious and just managed to pick up an Aegis as well. And this is when Doom really starts to shine. So we're going to slow this down a bit for this team fight once this damn thing gets out of my way. Okay. So right here, you can see the attack speed starting to get up, starting to get better. Just smashed that guy. Just smashed Spectre. I got Tanker chasing me. I'm gonna get him to, to come a little bit more. Let's see. Oh no. Tanker and Zeus. And Zeus decides to abandon Tanker. Tanker thinks he's gonna kill me for some reason. Tanker doesn't have a chance in hell. You can see just two hits. Level question death on there. And you can see these crits procking off. And Tinker just, just got destroyed. And, I mean, that armor reduction you're going to get from Assault Curious, it's going to help you just, you know, absolutely slice through the other people that don't have armor. And it really ends up being pretty beautiful late game. So, um, following that, I usually end up getting a Vlad's just because you already have insane GPM, you already have the Basilisk. It's, you know, it ends up being like, I think, 1500 to complete, which is, you know, chump change when you're playing something like Doom. You can see right here, I'm pulling in almost 200 more gold per minute over the second place person right now in terms of GPM. But, um, yeah, it ends up ramping up pretty considerably. So, um, let's skip ahead to later in the game and, and see what how our Doom's doing. Oh, right when he died. Okay, so where are we at now? Let's see. Okay, so at this point, we're 17 and 4. Which I'd say is pretty good on Doom. So let's, uh... See what we're doing here. Okay, looks like we're gonna go kill Roche a second time. Let's skip past that real fast. Roche is dead. Storm Spirit got the ages because by now I have the Heaven's Halberd. And I guess I'm. Nope, maybe the courier has. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we're at 40 minutes. And and just to just just think about this, we're at 40 minutes into the game. We have our boots. We have a heart. We have an assault curious of lads, a Heaven's Halberd, and a hat at hand of Midas. That is insane, because hearts you usually don't see until like the 45, 50 minute mark, and the fact that we got a big ticket item like that, along with two other pretty big ticket items, it ends up getting pretty disgusting. So now that we have what I consider a whore core set, um, once you get this, at this point, sell your Midas if you want, go ahead and pick up something else. Um, I mean, if you need a BKB, that's obviously in like the situational area, it all depends on what you're fighting against. Um, Radiance, like I said, I'm not a big fan of it, but I'll talk about it a little bit more in the in-game guide. Shiva's Guard is a great thing to add on just because there's more armor and that aura slow. But let's just, uh, we're just going to watch Doom just go around and smash face here. So this Tree and Protector is going to try and escape. I don't think he's going to manage to get away. Oh, nope, he's not. Level Question Death just smashed him. And at, at this point, you can see, I mean, between the Alpha Wolf aura, our Vlad's aura, the damage we're getting from Heart, I mean, we're hitting pretty quick. We're swinging for, you know, around 350 damage a hit. On top of that, we have the ability to lock people out of their abilities. We have chances on critical hits. And it really ends up turning Doom into a character that you don't really want to run into. And you, can, you can see at this point, the other team has pretty much abandoned hope. 
as we're smashing their barracks, but needless to say, in my opinion, Assault Curious all the way ends up letting you just smash face. I think we end up... I'm hoping it doesn't end here. I really would like to see a couple more people die real fast. Let's see. Speed it up a little bit. See if there's a if there's another team fight or so. Oh man, just smashing this one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I think they're gonna come in. Let's see what happens. This tree and pops his ulti. Oh, here we go. Oh, where's Zeus? Zeus is trying to run. Seer wants to fight instead. All right, we're just gonna kill Seer. Oh, Zeus wants to play. We'll kill Zeus. Oh no! Oh, Zeus is dead. Where does Seer think he's going? He's going nowhere. Oh, looks like we turned around. Oh, okay, never mind. That's right. We walked away to let the heart get off and heal us back up, but damn illusion starts attacking me. And then the tower starts attacking me. I'm gonna give it a second here. Let the heart get up. Heal to full, and then we'll probably I think we go back in and smash stuff. Oh no, nope, here's Spectre too. So Spectre ends up getting gripped up. I don't even remember how this game ends, so it'll be interesting to see what happens here. I mean, I know we win, but I'm trying to think if I get any more crazy kills. Okay, so Spectre just got absolutely obliterated between me and Bane on her together. And I mean, at this point, we're, we're what? We're 19 and 4, so... I mean, I, I don't know. There's nothing else to say. <laughs> um, obviously, I'm going to end up including a full replay of this match, um, or the, the number for the replay, and a link to the video, as well as a link to the build on... Um, on the Steam website. Like I said, this is an in-game build, and I'm still relatively new to Dota. I'm only around a level 20, but from the games I've played with Doom, I find this to be really effective, and I feel like you end up trying out a build like this on Doom, you're never going to bother with the Radiance again. You'll just want to run up and smash some face. So, anyway, guys, that's all there is to it for Doom. Hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you give them a shot and give the build out. If you do, make sure to rate it on Dota. You know, want to get that build up there so more people can experience the awesomeness of face smashing with Doom. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Where are you going, Seer? Where are we going? Look at that run speed. We're just like, nah, little bitch. You ain't getting away. Oh, he thinks he's going to escape us. He thinks he's going to escape us. Let's see what happens. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, we're going to smash this. We're going to smash this. Oh, there's still some towers left. We're going to smash that. Oh, we're just smashing everything we see. Oh, man, look at this. Oh. Oh, it's all of them. It's all of them versus me. How long can I survive? Oh, I died. Son of a bitch. Well, regardless, it was still a fun game. So, like I said, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out Build the Game, and hopefully you end up enjoying playing Doom as much as I do.